Hello and welcome to our channel, where we explore the mysteries and wonders of the natural world. Today, we will be discussing ancient creatures that are still alive today. These creatures have managed to survive for millions of years and have adapted to their changing environments. Let's dive in and take a look at some of these incredible survivors. Seligans are a rare and ancient species of fish that were once thought to have gone extinct around 65 million years ago. However, in 1938, a living seligant was caught off the coast of South Africa, making it one of the most significant zoological discoveries of the 20th century. Seligans have a unique appearance with their lobed fins and armored scales. They can grow up to 6.5 feet in length and weight up to 200 pounds. These creatures are found in deep sea environments, typically in underwater caves and rocky crevices at depth of around 330 to 1640 feet. Silicons are carnivorous and feed on a variety of fish, squid and other marine animals. Little is known about the reproductive habits of silicons, but it is believed that they are slow-growing and have a long lifespan, possibly up to 100 years. They are listed as critically endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature due to their rarity and vulnerability to overfishing and habitat destruction. Silicons are often referred to as living fossils because they have remained relatively unchanged for millions of years, providing insight into the evolution of early fish and other marine life. These creatures have captured the public's imagination and have appeared in various forms of popular culture, including movies, books, and video games. Nautilus is a type of marine mollusk in the cephalopod family, which includes squids and octopuses. They are characterized by a spiral-shaped shell that is usually smooth and often highly ornate, with intricate patterns and design. Nautiluses are ancient creatures that have been around for millions of years, and they are often referred to as living fossils because they have remained virtually unchanged for so long. There are six different species of nautilus, all of which are found in the Pacific and Indian Ocean. Nautiluses are the largest living cephalopods, with some species reaching length of up to two feet. Unlike other cephalopods, nautiluses have an external shell that they use for protection. They can retract their soft body inside the shell when threatened. Nautiluses have up to 90 tentacles that they use to catch prey, such as small fish and crustaceans. They are capable of adjusting the amount of gas in their shell to regulate their buoyancy, allowing them to float or sink in the water as needed. These creatures are believed to have a lifespan of up to 20 years, but their slow growth rate and low reproductive rate make them vulnerable to overfishing and other threats. Nautiluses have been used for centuries by humans as a source of food, decoration, and even currency. Today, they are protected by international laws and regulations to prevent overexploitation. Finally, we can say that Nautiluses are fascinating creatures with a rich history and unique adaptations that have allowed them to survive for millions of years. However, they are also at risk for human activities, such as overfishing and habitat destruction and it is important that we take steps to protect these ancient and valuable creatures. The goblin shark is a rare and little-known deep-sea shark that belongs to the family Mitsukurinidae. It is also commonly known as a living fossil as it has remained virtually unchanged for over 125 million years. The goblin shark has a unique and bizarre appearance. It has a long flat snout that protrudes from its head and contains many sensory pores used to detect prey. Its jaws are extendable, which allows it to snatch prey from a distance. 
The shark has a pinkish grey coloration and an elongated body that grows to about 12.5 feet long, with the males being slightly smaller than females. Goblin sharks are usually found in deep waters of up to 4,300 feet, making them difficult to observe and study. They have been recorded in the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans, with sightings being most common near Japan and in the waters of South Africa. The goblin shark feeds on a variety of deep-sea fish, crustaceans, and squids. It uses its extendable jaw to catch prey, and it also has a strong sense of smell to detect food. Not much is known about their behavior, but they are believed to be slow-moving and solitary creatures. These sharks are not considered a significant threat to humans due to their deep sea habitat and rarity. However, they can get caught in the deep sea fishing nets as bycatch. Currently, their population status is not well understood, but the IUCN lists them as data deficient, meaning that more research is needed to assess their conservation status. Overall, the goblin shark is a fascinating and mysterious creature that still holds many secrets waiting to be discovered by researchers. The horseshoe crab is a marine arthropod that has remained relatively unchanged for over 450 million years. It is found along the Atlantic coastline of North America, from Maine to Florida, as well as in the Gulf of Mexico and along the eastern coast of Asia. Horseshoe crabs have a hard horseshoe-shaped exoskeleton that covers their entire body. They have two compound eyes, as well as a series of simple eyes that run along the top of their body. They also have a long pointed tail that they use for steering and flipping themselves over if they become stuck on their back. Horseshoe crabs can grow up to 23 inches in length and can weigh up to 10 pounds. These crabs are primarily nocturnal and feed on worms, mollusks, and other small marine creatures. They are also known to scavenge on dead fish and other animals. Horseshoe crabs play an important role in the ecology of the beaches where they live, as their eggs provide a valuable food source for migratory shorebirds. These creatures are known for their blue blood, which is used in a test called LAL test. The LAL test is used to detect bacterial endotoxins in medical equipment, vaccines, and other products. The horseshoe crab's blood contains a clotting agent that reacts to the presence of endotoxins, making it an important tool in the manufacturing of safe medical products. Horseshoe crabs are listed as a vulnerable species by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. The main threat to horseshoe crabs is overharvesting for use as bait in the fishing industry, as well as habitat loss and pollution. Some populations of horseshoe crabs have declined significantly in recent years, making conservation efforts important for their survival. The tuatara is a lizard-like reptile found only in New Zealand. It is considered a living fossil as it is the only surviving member of an order of reptiles that was once widespread during the Mesozoic era, over 200 million years ago. It has a unique third eye located on the top of its head, which is thought to detect changes in light and help regulate circadian rhythms. It has a rough, scaly skin and can grow up to 60 centimeters in length, making it one of the largest reptiles in New Zealand. The Tuatara is a nocturnal reptile and spends most of its time hiding in burrows or under rocks. It prefers cool, damp habitats such as forests and shrubland and can be found on several offshore islands as well as the mainland. They are solitary animals and have been known to live up to 100 years in the wild. These creatures are carnivorous and feed mainly on insects, spiders, and other small invertebrates. They have been known to eat small lizards and even seabird chicks. The Tuatara is classified as a vulnerable species by the IUCN. It faces threats from habitat loss, introduced predators such as rats and stoats, and disease. 
Several conservation efforts are in place to protect the Tulutara, including habitat restoration, predator control, and captive breeding programs. In summary, the Tulutara is a unique and fascinating reptile that is native to New Zealand. It is a living fossil with a distinct appearance and behavior, and it is considered a vulnerable species due to habit loss and predation. Lampreys are a type of jawless fish that belong to the superclass Cyclostomata, which means round mouth. They are found in the temperate, coastal, and freshwater habitats around the world, including Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, as well as rivers and lakes. Lampreys have a long, eel-like body that lacks scales and paired fins. They have a circular sucker-like mouth with rows of sharp teeth that they use to attach to and feed on the blood and bodily fluids of other fish. Their bodies are typically dark colored, ranging from brown to black or gray. Lampreys have a complex life cycle that involves both freshwater and marine habitats. They begin life as small, worm-like larvae that live in streams and rivers. After several years, they metamorphose into parasitic adults and migrate to the ocean, where they feed on the blood of other fish for several years. Finally, they return to their natal streams and rivers to spawn and die. As parasites, lampreys play an important role in regulating the populations of other fish, particularly those that are commercially important. However, they can also cause damage to fish populations and are sometimes considered a nuisance. Lampreys are themselves an important food source for many animals, including birds, otters, and larger fish. Some species of lampreys are threatened or endangered due to habitat loss, overfishing, and other factors. Conservation efforts are underway in many regions to protect and restore lamprey populations, including the construction of fish ladders and other structures to aid their migration. All of these ancient creatures that I've been talking about in this video have managed to survive for millions of years and continue to thrive in their respective habitats. They serve as a reminder of the incredible resilience of nature and the importance of protecting our planet's biodiversity. We hope you enjoyed this journey into the world of ancient creatures that are still alive today. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing content.